to the men's cheer at this is always gladiatorial. A lot of these guys had a lot of trouble getting into the final, coming through repechages, including Britain's Ross Edgar. The idea of a Kirit is to follow this pacing bike, which is governed by pedaling. Although it is motorized, the speed governor is dictated by the pedaling there until just under three laps to go when the journey pacer, who is up to the speed all the way around, will pull off. Then it turns out to be a flat sprint, but it's very, very tactical with the six or seven riders you could get in a Kirin. The pacer pulls off. It's Sergei Borisov from Russia in the final who takes the opening lead. Then Matthew Crampton of Great Britain gets to the front. Two laps still to go, and Matt Crampton pushing the pace on. His teammate Ross Edgar out towards the back. Francois Pervy of France trying to get round, but the German Maximilian Levy ups the pace as they go over with one lap to go. Levy just riding away from people at the moment. One of the great team sprinters of all time. Maximilian Levy can't be touched by Francois Pervy. Germany get a gold medal. France take the silver and the great Tone Mulder, two times a world sprint champion, takes bronze. Maximilian Levy, who looked fantastic all the way through the qualifying, takes gold. And you can see just how hyped up they get. Francois Pervy taking the silver medal and the great, as I say, Tone Mulder of the Netherlands.